What it do, what it do, my kings and my queens. This is your girl, Queen B18 Red, which is the deep house of Queen City. I know I've been gone for a few days, but I am back. I've been focusing on other things. And so, yeah, you guys, I'm trying to focus on this, that, and the third. And I'm not trying to not upload. It's just other things is taking directions in my life at this moment so i am so sorry my kings and my queens you know i still love y'all you know i love y'all y'all my family this is where i can come to release negative energy talk get my shit out you know even if y'all don't sound fake y'all still gonna show up and listen and look and lurk and stop whatever y'all do but anyways i don't know if y'all had came across this this happened over the weekend. They're trying to put it out as a hate crime. It was a, I think the girl was 16 years old. Or the, the suspect was 16. I'm not sure. But I, I believe the suspect was 16 years old. It's a male and a female. Okay, this is what happened. So, why this story is getting overshadowed by... Okay, this story has getting overshadowed because of the Nipsey Hussle and um, the Hassan Camel and the WAC 100 situation. So, people are not really putting this out. So, you know, that's not my lane to focus on the Nipsey Hussle because, you know, I, I love his work and I love what he do for the community. And uh, WAC 100, same thing. He does a lot for the community as well, even though he is a alleg allegedly gang member or whatever. So, what's Nipsey Hussle? a known gang member but he still did a lot for the community so just because of what you grew up in your life in your past life but you still have love for your set your hood your neighborhood your whatever so um y'all know what happened with the hot sun camel secretly recording on WAP 100 and everybody got things to say you know that's um i'm not gonna speak on that I'm not going to speak on that. Like I say, you know, um, I I got family that are creative yips, and I know a lot of big bloods. So, I'm not going to speak on one set from the other. So, yeah, I'm going to keep my mouth off that. <laughs> so, um... <clears throat> So let's get into what we came here for. I'm going to jump into two of these videos and then I'm going to jump into Megan the Stallion. So you guys, like I said, it's been I've been gone for five days. I've been going through a lot of challenges, but I've been focused on my other stuff like my candles and my home decor. And I've been, you know, I have been now focused on my YouTube channel, but I'm back. You know, I'm back. I'm back live in the flesh, honey. So let's get into this. If I haven't already told you, so this is what it was. Uh, from what they say, that the young boy, I guess he was, um, he had an altercation with this young lady and some of her family members earlier that day. Instead of him calling the police or letting his mother, his father know what had happened, I guess he came back and found the little girl with some of his family members and um, allegedly he got into altercation with her and he stabbed her in the back so i don't know if this young lady was by herself when she wasn't by herself i don't know if she was with um other females and or with or were there any males in the central city with her but for her the only one that got you know assaulted <laughs> i mean you are a whole I'm not going to come at this little boy because I don't know him like that. But for me to speak freely, you a whole boy out here. It doesn't matter what that girl said to you. It didn't cause for you to put your hands on her. Not only put your hands on her, you stabbed that girl in her back. That's a cowardly move once and for all right there. You did not um, talk your ish back to her. You caused bodily harm to that girl. You stabbed the girl in her back. Backstab us, backstab us, they smile in your face all the time. They want to take them, please, them backstab us, backstab us. And so, again, like I said, 
they said it was an altercation that happened earlier. So this was premeditated. This is premeditated because, like I said, if the, um, if you or someone in your family member was um, had an altercation with this young girl earlier, why was there no police called so y'all can, you know, see what's going on and they can um, take the right people to jail if it was an altercation that, that got physical earlier that happened that day? But no, you want to be big, bad, and bold, whoever got in your ear, the devil, and you let them set you up, and now you're looking at a hate crime because you have, and it was eyewitnesses that you have caused bodily harm to this girl. This girl could have lost her life over whatever y'all was getting to it over. And it caused you to get your ego, your ego bruised because you're a boy and she's a girl that you had to, um, to stab her in her back. And I don't understand what's up with these children these days. I blame the parents. Because what cause for you to go and pick up a knife and to do this to her? It's your, you can't say your environment because the environment that I stay in, I don't participate. So I can't say, oh, it's my environment because I'm not my environment <laughs> at all. So they want to say it was a hate crime because of the young lady is black and i guess the um the boy is caucasian well she can't say black she's african-american black is a color so she's not black she's african-american and the uh, young boy is caucasian so um it was a um a protest that happened this weekend out in um was it lake east lake or lake side california and so i said this got overshadowed due to the Nipsey Hustle, WAC 100, and Hot Sun Campbell case. So, um, go ahead and share this if you guys like to. Like I said, um, we need to put this awareness out that um, there's black, I'm um, black, African American people are still getting harmed out here in these streets. Why do they hate us so much? I had this conversation with, I'm okay, I'm gonna let y'all get into this and I'm gonna come back and tell y'all what I was gonna tell y'all. But hold on. A 16-year-old boy accused of stabbing a black teenage girl in an apparent hate crime now faced a judge. This incident happened over the weekend at CBS's Chris Crow is live outside Juvenile Hall in Linda Vista with more on what happened during the hearing. It was just uh, hours ago here, Chris. And this was an arraignment hearing. It didn't last very long, and the suspect was actually not in court, though his family was. And we also know that the victim... And their family were also in court as well, too, for this. Now, as for what actually happened, we know that the suspect pled not guilty. Now, he's facing two charges here, two felony counts, both carrying hate crime uh, allegations with them. One of them attempted murder and also one of them being assault with a deadly weapon. Now, his max exposure for these crimes, if, again, uh, he is to be found uh, the term is not fine guilty here in juvenile court, but uh, faces max exposure of 17 years. Now, we spoke with the deputy district attorney after this hearing. We asked him if potentially that this 16-year-old could be facing uh, adult court at any time. He said that they're not filing a motion at this time. That is not something the district attorney's office is considering at this time. We also asked if there were potentially any family members that could be uh, charged later on as we move forward. And, they and that's what I think, you know. Um, if your kids want to be out here doing some fuck shit and um, you are the parent because you don't have, um, you're too busy running the streets or running behind a nigga or running behind a bitch and you can't focus on your children and they're out here doing some fuck shit, lock your ass up. I know you can't watch your child 24-7. Okay, we just got over what? Uh, spring break or whatever you want to call it and so you can't watch your children because your kids can act around act one way around you and then act a whole totally way around someone else trying to show their ass or trying to act like they're this and that and the third or they're trying to show both so they want to act hard or whatever or be influenced by their peers or whatever because they, they don't live their life and not about their life but they want to act hard in front of other people so um peer pressure so if you are hearing your child in the streets doing something they ain't got no fucking business doing and you don't check their ass or correct their ass 
lock your motherfucking ass up because you the mama, you the daddy, and you know what was going on in the streets. You, you, you failed to correct their ass, so let's check your ass and lock your ass up. That's how I feel. That's my personal opinion. He told us that this is still an active and ongoing investigation, so it does not appear that this is the final bit of uh, news that we'll have coming out of this. Now, of course, because this is juvenile court, we still don't know the suspect's name. That is not something that is going to be released or even for the victim. But we do understand, of course, that the nature of this incident obviously uh, caused a lot of unrest out there uh, in the East County. We know uh, that there was a town hall to address all of that. But as for the next event that we're looking at here with the story, June 6th, that is when the next time we will be here at court. That will be for a readiness year. Okay, it's at June 6th, so um, if I remember to do an update on this, I will keep y'all in tune on this case because they said that just because a dude is 16 years old, they're not going to say his name, but I remember, I can't um, pinpoint it, but um, it was a case back, 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 back when, and it was a minor, and they showed his face, and they um said his age, but maybe because the person was black, I don't know, but I'm not going to play the race card here because that's not what my channel is about. I'm an equal opportunity lover. I love everybody and every ethnic group, race, whatever, and gender. So, you know, I, that's not what I, um, that's not what my channel is about. I love everyone. And I say everyone, I mean everyone. So, um, <clears throat> but I am a, uh, Malaysian Creole descent. Yes, I am. So, um, <clears throat> I love people. Yeah, this House of Queens is baby. We love everybody over here, baby. So, yeah, let me jump into what, something else I want to show you guys. So, hold on. Keep it in mind. It'll get greater later. Okay, so this one right here is a um, an East County residence, an anti-hate organization gathered in Lakeside to address what had happened and the issues that are happening in Lakeside. Um, if you guys are in the California area, um, I don't even know where that area is at. So, um, it's just, like I said, it's the East County. So, um, if you guys are aware about this, that people that does stay in that part of the county... Or even if you guys stay in um, California, period, and um, you have more information about this, please jump in my comment section and give me some um, details on it because I would like to more, know more about it. I have tried to, you know, even doing this from the news, they haven't really talked about it. And I went to the person's YouTube channel um, that did report on it but he was doing most of the protests and stuff like that in the marches so there's not really stern too much stern around about this incident that happened maybe because the people are minors and so they court date like i said is in june 6th what they said so i was trying to do my research and try to find out more about this incident but there's not too much going around about this maybe because it is a black and white thing <clears throat> so i would like to know more about this incident that happened with this young lady and this young guy and why did it occur why did he have to take it to that extent to even um physically hurt her them like that and if she was doing something to him i would like to know what led to this so i'm like i said um i was not there i don't know too much about this i'm going what they putting out in the um on social media so uh, i'm just gonna let y'all hear about this and i get back to my commentary organizations gathered for a rally in Lakeside asking for change to happen and they want help from the Sheriff's Department. This comes as East County areas including Santee, El Cajon and Lakeside have all experienced hate crimes. CBS 8's Regina Ahn went to the gathering. She has the story. Tonight a community rally with a clear message. Hate will not be tolerated. East County residents, anti-hate organizations and the Sheriff's Department met here at the Lakeside Community Center after a girl was stabbed over the weekend. We're here yet again for another tragedy of race, discrimination, bias, and all kinds of, of terror that we've seen throughout San Diego, San Diego County. Yusuf Miller of North Equity and Justice Coalition is just one of many who are here to fight for peace and equality for black people in East County. Organizations came out after a stabbing of a 16-year-old black girl over the weekend. It's being called a hate crime. We are here because we want to make sure that we do not leave any other black families. Tasha Williamson is an advocate and she's calling for freedom and peace. As this family escapes some of the most extreme experiences of racism. Deputies arrested a teenage boy.
Illinois on Monday, two days after a 16-year-old girl was stabbed twice in the back. Witnesses told authorities a group of teenagers approached a girl and family members about an assault from earlier in the day. The group began yelling racist slurs and the teen girl was stabbed. The Sheriff's Department hosted a town hall tonight in Lakeside and got some heated questions from the community. I see, I don't know if you guys heard that. They said they confronted her and her family members on an assault that happened earlier that day. So if that, so whoever was assaulted earlier that day, the right thing to do was to contact the authorities. And if you was embarrassed or if you have those pe family members or parents in your household to say, don't bring your ass in my house until you go handle that shit yourself, then shame on you guys. Because I know there are some parents are like that, black, white, whatever, that say, why you come in the house crying? Go handle that shit and don't bring your ass back in the house until you handle that shit. So if there are parents like that, or if this incident that occurred was like that, shame on the parents, lock their ass up with their child. So like they said, the the Caucasian boy had was assaulted earlier that day, or the confrontation earlier that day, and they he got with his other family members or friends and said, okay, let's go handle this. So they confronted the girl with her family members. And whatever happened, happened. And I guess the girl was walking off. She had to be walking off. For him to stab her in the back. So, that's what happened. So you come to urge on and continue the incident that happened earlier that day because your family members like come on let's go let's go urging you up you found the girl so it was premeditated because I know you wasn't walking around with that knife in your pocket or where you had it at so I'm um, my opinion the parent should parents or parent should be locked up in this incident tell us the father of the boy who was arrested was there and when the girl was stabbed people at tonight's town hall want to know why the father was not arrested there has to be an act of furtherance and over an act to commit the crime merely being present is not enough however i can tell you the deputy the deputy the detectives assigned to this case this is really will low. take that all into account and will report that and will put that forward in the investigation GoFundMe available for the family of the girl. We'll have that link for you available on CBS8.com. Just click on the help button. Okay, you guys. So, um, that's that for, um, that part of my, um, content. So, we're going to jump right into the Magdy Stallion case. So, hold on. Okay, you guys. Right here, this is the, um, Magna Stallion, it comes out tomorrow. She did a sit down with Gail King and she's going to keep talking about um, her situation. She's going to get more in depth into the situation with the incident that happened and was it, I believe, in 2020 about Tory Lane allegedly pow powing her. And so when she had court dates and going to court and stuff, and then even on social media, she wanted us to to have just her opinion because every time Tory Lane would come out with his opinion, she would always shut it down or he'd come out with a statement or she'd think it's about her. She wants to go crying to the court and say, look at him, he's taunting me, he's making fun of me, he's doing this and doing that and protect black women. Okay, it's good enough to protect black women, but <clears throat> only statement that we're getting so far is <clears throat> yours, Megan. You can't say that Tory Lane keep lying on you or you guys believe in him over her. Because he's not allowed to say his side of the story. So, if you're saying that we're trying to believe his side, no. Because we're only hearing your side. So, if you don't want anybody to believe this, the narrative that's coming out, then it's only yours. Because you are the only one that are that's saying something. Which I believe is totally fucked the fuck up. Because you didn't want the truth to come out. And shout out to Mob Radio as always because she got the court documents transcripts on I believe this was the last time they went to court I believe but like I said shout out to my radio um go to her um her channel is my radio um Malago Grams she um went over the transcripts 
and she get into depth and she give her opinion on the whole situation. So if you want to hear her opinion on the situation that happened that night, cha, I'm telling you, it's juicy. So go ahead over to my radio and um, she will get into details of details on the transcripts in hand. And also, she's going to give her opinion. So, shout out to the mob. She's doing her things in these streets. If y'all haven't been hip to her um, her YouTube channel and also Station Head, go ahead over there, y'all. Go ahead over there. She's doing big things. So, again, shout out to my radio. I love you. It was an argument because I was ready to go and everybody else wasn't ready to go. But that's like normal friend yeah. stuff. Like, yeah. That's a lie. She said that she was arguing and talking about she was ready to go. Okay, what she didn't tell you guys was that mm, she came to the party with EJ and Chelsea. Tory Lanez and his bodyguard, security guard, was not even thought of yet. They was already there because, like I said, they did that um, WAP video and she and um, Kylie Jenner was um, featured in the video. So that's how um, they started hanging out with each other. So she was invited. To, it wasn't even like a, it wasn't even a party. It was like a, a little get together or whatever. They was just you know just having fun that day. So Chelsea and EJ and Megan Thee Stallion was already there. She got on the phone to call Tory Lanez and tell him, "Hey, I'm up here at Kylie Jenner house. Come through, okay?" He pulled up and he pulled through. So. Let's get into some more and see what she got to say. We fuss about silly, silly stuff all the time. But I never put my hands on anybody. I never raised my voice. Okay, and from also shout out to my radio. We know you didn't put your hands on nobody, but we know for a fact that Chelsea put her hands on you. Let do that know your clap. Uh, 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 chop a style, chop, chop, chop a style, chop a style, chop, chop. She slapped the dog piss out of Meg the Stallion that night because Meg the Stallion, not only, not only did Meg the Stallion get her ass whooped, allegedly, by Chelsea Che, she got out the car and proceeded to walk not once, not two, not three, I believe it was four times she got out the car. So, I understand that Chelsea is her friend, but girl, she ain't your true friend because, like she said, like, and then Tori said the same thing, girl. I was apologizing allegedly for fucking two best friends. And then Chelsea called you out too, bitch, because you a dog ass bitch. You like to fuck people. You, see, Megan the second type of one of them bitches that when you go to the bathroom, bitch, you coming too. And about me trusting my man, bitch, I don't trust your bitch ass. But her makeup is cute, and I'm not here trying to dog out Megan the I did a review on her, um, on her chicken sandwich. That was a regular ass chicken sandwich, and they're gonna slap a name on it. And that sauce that came from um the Chinese restaurant, soy sauce, not soy sauce, but that sweet and sour sauce. That's that, that's what all it was. That's what all it was. A regular ass chicken sandwich with some motherfucking sweet and sour sauce that you're supposed to put on your goddamn egg rolls. But in two ways, yeah. When and then okay, you wanted him to leave. He wasn't ready to go. You proceed to get EJ, or was it EJ, or the security guard, to take your stuff out of EJ's car, put it into Tory Lane's Jeep, and then y'all left. You and Chelsea left. You got halfway down to your house, like maybe a block to your house, and told the driver to turn back around. So you talking about you was arguing with him and stuff because you was ready to go. You already left, Megan. You got halfway to your house and told the driver to turn back around. So that's when Tory Lane was like, damn, girl, shit, I'm, I'm here having a good time hanging out with the Jenners and woo not. So I ain't ready to go. But you was ready to go. You wanted to come back and get your piece of meat for the night, your sneaky link for the night. And because you was already filling them drinks, you was already pumped full full of drinks. So you want your sneaky links and you want something late next to and get mm, pumped into. So you wanted to come get your little piece of meat <clears throat> so you can, um, you know, whatever y'all do tonight. So he wasn't ready to go. Tell me when 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 to go. No, he was not ready to go. So that was the argument. He was arguing like, damn, bitch, you did not come here with me. You came here with Chelsea and EJ, the driver of the car, EJ's car. Y'all came in EJ's car. <clears throat> Excuse me. Y'all came in EJ's car. So you did not come to the party with Tory Lanez. 
You called him and told him to come to you. So you was already there before he got there. And so you, by the time he was having um, his little fun, then you was ready to go. Maybe something was like he was flirting with someone else or whatever, however it happened. But you was giving your feelings. You was like, nah, bitch, I'm ready to go. And he was like, ah, bitch, I ain't ready to go. So, like I said, after y'all all got into the car together, y'all was, you know, arguing, fussing, fighting, and whatever. Girl, be fencing and fake. I ain't yelling at nobody. Girl, we already done seen you in, uh, in about arguing with bitches when you get drunk. Even um, money bag yo say you a turn up when you get drunk. You a different person when you drink. Maybe get that under control, allegedly. So, you already told him to put a cover maybe like two, three, four times before you even got the incident even happened. But I know one of them times, like I said, um, shout out to my radio again, that one time when the car was put over, Chelsea got her ass out that um, um, back seat, wherever he was positioned at, and walked around to the other seat, other side of the car and, and opened that door and started to tag your ass. So I don't understand how come you keep not want to bring her name in none of this. I can see if you was her friend, but bitch, you can't be her too much her friend. You was fucking her man. So my my opinion, and my opinion only, maybe because you did so much dog ass shit to her, fucking her nigga and her face and whatever, that you didn't want to keep hurting her because you a dog ass bitch. I don't know. I'm on going by what I'm seeing and viewing on social media. But I don't understand why you keep trying to not bring up Chelsea's name, baby girl. Well, let's get back into her sob story. Too loud. Like, this was one of them times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have been right. right, right, right. So I get out the car and it's like... Oh, my bad. Shout out to um my girl right here, XOXO. Hey, boo. Hi, Miss Gigi. I'm so sorry. I'm using her content. I am so sorry, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. This is Miss Gigi content. I'm using. Go to her channel. She is the bomb. I've been following her before I was, uh, even became a content creator. So, go ahead. Shout out to her. Hey, girl. Hey. Everything happens so fast. Mm. And all I hear is this man screaming. He said, dance, bitch. And mm. start shooting. Bitch, you know damn well you in here. Look at that face. Mm, she's trying to be an actress. She can't act right. Queen Latifah. <laughs> but anyways, this bitch sitting here lying through her motherfucking teeth. I don't know who told you to do this fucking thing. Maybe because you got this little CD coming out or whatever. Your song you got come out. Letters to my ex. Oh, I think they changed the name of it already. But maybe trying to promote that. So if you plug your fucking CD at the end of this goddamn um, interview. Girl. 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 But this is like the first time we had bitches on here lying on niggas. You had you had um Azriel with the art thing. The art Kelly thing. So they like bitches come up here and do a little promo tour and try to save face because you had Azriel and Joycelyn up here lying through their motherfucking teeth knowing what was right was left. And now you got Meg the Stallion. So you're trying to, you see her sniffling and you it hear like she crying, but you don't see no fucking tears. She lying so goddamn bad. She, her, her fucking emotions and her body came to make her produce tears. Let me say it again. She lying, she up here lying so fucking bad that her body and her emotions can't allow her to produce tears. He shot a couple of times. And I, I so was so scared. In the car, shooting from the car. Right? And he was, is standing up over the window, mm, shooting. Mm. And he's standing up over the window. I thought, goddamn girl, he was shooting through the door, and then thought he was shooting through the window. See, she got so many consistencies in her lies. It's child, but I don't know. If we're gonna be able to. Um, to do commentary on this tomorrow, the whole thing. I'm not sure if I even want to do it, but I will be tuning in to it to see what the fuck this bitch got to say. Like I said, this is no, I'm not trying to, um, come at Magda Stallion. I'm just saying that how come you are able to continuously to come out here and make this man seem like he's a dog ass nigga or a fuck ass boy and he cannot say his shit. 
But it's okay. It, it is okay, Megan. This is because I already um, tweeted Tory Lanez already like a week ago and told him, you may, you may have been um, not be able to say your piece, but soon as this shit is over and done with it, and when they say go, when the court say go, and you found not guilty on all charges, the only thing you found guilty of because you had the gun in your possession and stuff like that. But when all this shit is said and done, because God does have your back, because we are seeing what this woman is doing to you. I just want to say protect black women. Protect black men too. They both, both genders, the women and men, black, if you want to call it black, African American, are out here suffering from violence against other races. And then it's sad when you have two African Americans coming at each other. So, my thing is this again. When I tweeted him and told him that when it's time for you to speak your peace, hell has no, like you say, hell has no fury like Woman Thorne, has no fury like Tory Lane. Because he's going to say what happened and some more. He's going to do so many fucking videos. He's going to do a whole album. And she's going to wish she let him speak his truth. Unless it's um, something that's going to be in place where he cannot speak on it or whatever. And that would be some fucked up shit. So if he can't speak on it, he better try to leak it out to someone else to speak on it. Because she knows she's lying. And she's not lying to uh, I'll be warm enough to, to apologize, but it seems like she not like seems like she's keep constantly lying in our face, and she wanted to say it's raining purple cows and donkeys. Well, we know damn well it ain't no purple cows and donkeys falling from the goddamn sky. So I'm gonna wrap this up, <clears throat> you guys. So like I said, I haven't been here in about five days, five days, ooh, four, 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 five days. But I am so sorry, you guys. Like I said, I've been busy. I've been, my mind been on a lot of other things and stuff like that. So I'm here now, you guys. I'm here now. And I will try my best to give you guys content on consistency. But, um, you know, hey, it is what it is. I can try to give y'all as much content as I can when I can, but I still love you guys. You guys are my kings and my queens out here in this world, and I love all you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me, and um, yeah, all that I do. Hey, it's me. It's your girl. So now, we, we, we up in these streets. <laughs> so yeah, you know, so I'll a holler. I'll see y'all again on another one. Probably tomorrow, but I'm not sure. So, um, watch your 12 pieces here. I'm not out here in these motherfucking streets. This is your girl. B I N G R O. And Red is her name. Yo! And I will see y'all on another one. But, like I always said, keep it in mind, it'll get greater later. Bye. You guys. <laughs>